Hello students, today we will see what are the different techniques generally used for the preparation of pollen grain slide. So before we go detail about the experiment, first we should know about what is pollen grain, where it is actually found. So we know already know that um, the flowers are the reproductive organ of a plant. So a flower consists of different components like thalamus, calyx, the individual member of calyx is known as sepal, then corolla, the individual member of corolla is known as petal, androsium and gynosium. The androsium is known as male reproductive unit and gynosium is known as female reproductive unit. So again the androsium that is the male reproductive organ of a flower is consists of three component number one is filament number two is anther and number three is connective so the pollen grains are present inside the anther lobes of the stamen and this pollen grain is known as the male reproductive unit of a flower so the pollen grain is a small grain that consists of a few cells. Uh, to the naked eye, it appears as a yellowish or pale yellow dust-like st structure that is either dispersed by wind or insect. So pollen grain is formed within the sac in the anther that are located in plants. So the pollen grain is also known as microsporangia. The development of anther also involves the growth and differentiation of tissue that develop to produce the pollen sac. This is then followed by a process of cell division which is known as meiosis that result in the formation of clusters referred to as quartered within the pollen sac chamber. The quartet then undergoes further division to produce pollen which serve as the male gametophyte of plants in case of seed plant for the reproduction. So depending upon the type of plant the pollen is either dispersed by wind or insect to the respective stigma. So from this we can say that the pollen grains are present inside the anther lobe of the stamen and this particular pollen grain is known as the male reproductive unit of a flower.